Hey, what's going on, Patriots, Patriots, and all the rest of you bastards out there? Um, main topic for this video is going to be uh, the potential for some terrorist attacks coming our way and why I believe so. But before I get into that, uh, I did post a video, you know, Obama's treason. Most of you watching this has already seen that one. And, you know, in there, I basically said, Obama's guilty of treason. This is why. Easily verifiable. Look at it for yourself. Well, it actually is probably, you know, half hour better of, uh, of that. But that's basically a boiled down condensed version. And I've had this argument, you know, uh, with other people, you know, face to face, you know, some some uh, argumentative discussions, hostile debate, if you will, <laughs> and uh, you know, just because not every single one of those uh, rebel fighters over there, insurgents, whatever you want to call them, against Gaddafi as Al Qaeda or Al Qaeda affiliated, it's easily verifiable that there are many of them over there that are affiliated. Hell, there was one guy, I was reading an article off of Drudge where one guy was basically saying that he had over a thousand Al-Qaeda, you know, with him over there fighting that he was basically in charge of. So, I mean, just because they're not all Al-Qaeda, well, there's still a Al-Qaeda presence there. And the fact that we're supposed, you know, he supposedly said we're going to be globe trotting in essence, you know, eradicating Al Qaeda, and you're over there helping these bastards. Um, aren't we actually f supposed to be fighting against them in, you know, two other countries? But we're going to be all buddy buddy with them over here and even arm them? You know, talking about arming them? I mean, you know, actually, not not just aiding the enemy, but well, I guess you know, arming them—that's aiding. Um, you know, dropping bombs on their behalf. Well, that's, yeah, I would say that's aiding. Um, very clearly so. Even if it's just one little Al-Qaeda dude over there and, and you know, he benefits from it, he gets aided in some way, shape, or form. Well, that is constitutional definition of treason. You're aiding the enemy. Um, Oh man, and I tell you what, how about this? You know, since you're you're actually arming that guy, you're arming the enemy that's fighting us over here, then man, you're helping make war against your own people. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Pretty interesting there, isn't it? All right. And I've got a special little place, you know, that 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 I think would be uh, with a special little punishment for special little people that you know actually commit treason and you know through the proper channels been convicted of it. And I think that special little place would be probably 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, and this is I'm not saying this for any particular individual. I'm saying anybody that has been tried and convicted of treason through the proper constitutional channels, uh, no matter what position, title, um, who they are, whatever. I just got to throw that out there as a disclaimer. You know that. Well, you know, well, I say we trot them out 1600 Pennsylvania and, you know, grab us a nice long rope and find us a tall oak tree and, well, you know the rest. That's what. That's how I think, you know, these uh, these treasonous bastards ought to be dealt with. And you know what? There's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that probably you know get get their willies off by watching crap like that. So, you know what? Put it on pay per view. There you go, and, and take that money and deposit it into the treasury. Ah, there you go, revenue generation. Um, let's see. I think there was another something else. Uh, oh, Congress. Um, having the ability to delegate out the, the power to declare war. Uh, Constitution Article 1 deals with the legislature. Or legisl yeah, the legislature. Now, in Article 1, Section 8, it says what the Congress specifically can do. And Section 9, it gives 
examples and, and says what Congress can't do. And then, of course, you know, the Tenth Amendment, you know, all, all power is not delegated. You know, they're all reserved to the, to the people or the states, respectively, which means us or our individual states, you know, not the legislature. Um, so if it's not specifically delegated to Congress, they can't do it. Now, whenever we're talking about the Declaration of War, Article 1, uh, Section 8, Paragraph 11 reads as follows. And this is talking about Congress has the power to declare war, grant letters of mark and reprisal, and make rules concerning captures on land and water. It says Congress shall have the power to declare war. It does not say Congress shall have the power to declare a war except in circumstances where they delegate that power to the executive or the judiciary or the people or any, you know, some fourth branch of government that wasn't even thought about at the time. So, and I had this argument with other, you know, people, you know, some guys up, up there, you know, that I kick it with, talk it with, work and all that good, have, what have you. Um... Congress doesn't have the power to delegate that to the executive. So just by saying, uh, well, Congress gave him the power. Well, Congress doesn't have the authority to give him the power. They aren't delegated that. I mean, that's like, you know, uh, if you don't have, well, no, never mind. I can't. If you can't understand it the way I put it, then... There's no hope for you. And it doesn't matter what kind of argument you try to come at me trying to, re, you know, with a rebuttal. No matter what argument you have is not going to hold any water. Because Congress does not have the authority to delegate the power to declare war to some other entity. Whether that be a person, an office, uh, anything. They simply do not have the authority. You know, that's ex, ex post de facto laws. Uh, I know somewhere in, in Article, uh, let's say Article 1, Section 9, well, matter of fact, here, let me pull it up. I know it's in Article 1, Section 9. Da, 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 da. Uh, here we go. 3, uh, Article 1, Section 9.3. No bill of attainer or ex post facto law shall be passed. Well, how many times do they do something? They're like, oh, you know, hey, damn, we can't do that. Well, let's pass a law to make it legal. They get caught with their britches down, so they try to pass a law, you know, after the fact that something's already been done. You know, they can't do that. I mean, they, they do it all the time, but uh, I guess that's our fault. You know, we the people for not going up there and, you know, kicking some ass or whatever it is that we got to do, you know, to get these scumbags back in check. And... Uh, you know, that's, uh, never leave home without it. Yeah, my phone's cracked. Yeah, fell out of my damn pocket. And, uh, that's the Constitution for iPhone, you know, iPhone, iPod, iPad. You got any of one of them evil devices. Never leave home without it. Damn, I went, whew, nine minutes, and I ain't even got to the whole point of this damn video. All right talking about incoming attacks um, now Gaddafi as big of a douchebag as you may may or may not think he is uh, you know just my interpretation of him is he ain't trying to go nowhere you know he's nice and he, he likes being where he's at and he ain't going nowhere he done said he ain't going nowhere and all this stirring up the hornet's nest you know hell I've seen the, the media talk about well you know he could he, you know he may utilize terrorist attacks and well, we hadn't had one, and you know, we hadn't we hadn't really had one that was successful in quite a long time. Now a lot of a lot of this uh, you know backlash that they're getting from these you know counter terrorist measures and security apparatuses and apparatus or whatever you know 
you know, there's a lot of backlash coming from it, whether it be the airport security, mainly the TSA, man. They're a bunch of, you know, well, uh, you guys know what I'm trying to say there. I'm sure there's some TSA people out there that, you know, you know, it's hard not to paint it with a broad brush. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there may, there, there's a few, you know, in there that ain't so bad, but, uh, you know, just all in all, in all I think it's a complete un, unnecessary waste of money that's going on with the TSA. But um, all the backlash that they're getting, they need something to legitimize all this uh, stripping of our rights and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, so they said, you know, so, so media is talking about, you know, Gaddafi may utilize a terrorist attack and... And they pretty much need one to legitimize all their tactics that they're using against us and stripping away our freedoms. Now, I wouldn't put it, I, I'm not going to put it beyond Gaddafi to actually orchestrate something. Um, but at the same time, if he doesn't, I wouldn't put it past some of those esoterical bastards on our end to orchestrate something themselves. To legitimize, you know, going full bore over there uh, in Libya and probably kicking off World War Three, as Gerald Salente said. And but I but I also think that think that Gaddafi's the type that if something happens and he's not responsible, he'll probably you know well ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh, you know I did this this and this but I didn't do that. Or if he does do it, you know, or if it's something that he did, he'd probably stand up and, damn right I did it. You know, what you going to do about it? You know, so I think he might, you know, just, just, just from, just from, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know anything specifically. You know, I just kind of get that feeling that that might, you know, seems like the kind of person we're dealing with based on, you know, uh, what's been reported as some, uh, you know, some of the stuff he said and this, that, and another. So... I full well expect to see uh, some sort of event happen. Now, whether it's orchestrated, now who it's orchestrated by, who knows? Because there's plenty of sides that would probably all like to see it happen. And, you know, to legitimize several different things. Um, everything from cracking down on our liberties to, you know, invading another country full scale um, or on the other end of the spectrum, if it's a legitimate, you know, something from Gaddafi, you know, kind of, you know, one of those little cheap sucker punch sort of deals, you know, who knows? But, you know, I think we're right for one, and I think if it does happen, more or less it'll be orchestrated. Um, not by Gaddafi, you know, read into that however you want to. That's my own personal opinion, because I don't think he's that stupid. You know, who knows? He may get desperate and do something, but I just don't think he's, you know, I think he's probably got a better head on his shoulder than most fat, dumb, happy Americans that are sucked into the idiot box. Just my opinion. Uh, yep, that's pretty well it for now. I'm sure I'll think of some stuff later, and y'all have a good one.